Motivation is such a funny thing. <laughs> and like some days you just don't have it. I'm just not motivated. We've been so conditioned in the society that we live in to have to produce, 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 be on all the time, create, put things out. We live in firstly a society that wants you to produce all the time. But if you're not producing, you have like your green path to just be lazy all day and do nothing all day and binge watch a whole series. There's like a middle ground that is a lot more beneficial to us. And today I'm going to show you what that middle ground looks like for me. Normally my motivation level, my energy level is up here today, it's down here. But just because my energy and my motivation is down here, doesn't mean that I have to bring everything else in my life down here with it. You bring your whole self down to here and then you start resonating down here. My physical energy and my physical motivation is not there, but my mental health and my mental stamina are very much up here. A lot of times in the past, I would bring my mental health down to cater to where my physical motivation and energy was. It's important to learn exactly what you're feeling because if you don't know exactly what you're feeling, you start to cater your day, your lifestyle, your thoughts to what you think you're feeling. In the past, I would feel not motivated or I'd feel like I have low energy and then I would automatically think that there's something like wrong going on in my mental health and it would send me into a spiral of sadness. I would be like overthinking, like why am I feeling this way? I'm just, I'm feeling this way literally because I'm a woman who's about to get her period <laughs> and it's like literally just hormones. Making sure that my, my subconscious brain understands that my physical of experience of having no energy and feeling just like kind of drained and feeling not motivated has nothing to do with what's going on up here that it's just a physical experience is really important for me on a day like today where i wake up and i don't feel motivated physically it's important for me to engage in healthy mental health practices. I woke up this morning, I meditated, and it was in that meditation that I realized like, I don't really have it today. It's not really there. We also have like a very gray overcast day. I would normally try to get outside, get some sun on my face. That's not a possibility today. So I did turn on my red light therapy device. I also lit some candles. I sat down in my hammock chair with a notebook and my computer. I hopped on Pinterest. I journaled some of the things that I'm grateful for. And then I wrote like a page and a half of affirmations, all tying to worthiness. We live in a time where we kind of gauge our worthiness based on the things that we produce. I woke up today kind of feeling like I'm not gonna produce much. Forcing myself to create, forcing myself to be motivated to create if I'm not <laughs> is going to be at the detriment of my mental health. So like my mental health will suffer if I try to force that. And I don't want to do that to myself. I want to honor what I'm feeling in my body. At the same time, it was so important for me to do those worthiness affirmations this morning because I don't want my brain to think that I'm like abandoning my projects or that I don't care or that it's not important to me. Like those things are important to me. I normally do my laundry on Saturdays. It's Thursday today. I'm gonna do my laundry today. That will take away from the tasks that I have to do this weekend. I will have like that sense of accomplishment from finishing my laundry. I think it's so important to still do things when you don't feel motivated because sometimes we have to do things when we don't feel motivated. It just is what it is. We don't live in a world that completely caters to our needs. So it's more of like doing things when I'm not motivated to let myself know that I can do things when I'm not motivated. So if I have to do things when I'm not motivated, I know that I can do them. Doing laundry doesn't really require a lot. <laughs> There's not a lot of brain power that goes into it. It's, um, it's easy. On days where you have no motivation, you need ease. Finding the middle ground between like 
producing a bunch and laying in bed all day, that's what today is about for me, finding the middle ground when I have no motivation. Getting up and getting dressed is like really hard to do when you have no motivation. Getting out of your pajamas, <laughs> letting your mind know that like, okay, the day is starting today. Even if the day isn't going to look super extravagant or like have like a ton of stuff going on, you still wanna set the, the intention that your day is starting and, and letting your brain know like today has started. Getting dressed now, we are moving forward. Like kind of letting my brain know like, hey, maybe you don't have a ton of motivation today, but we're going to go to yoga, like still get some things done. Making sure that I don't treat myself as if I'm depressed or sick when I'm not motivated is like really important. My brain's still good, <laughs> and but I have to let my brain know that it's still good, right? So like we have to engage in habits and routines and hobbies and, and activities that let our brain know we're still good. We have Over the last few years, I've really learned to appreciate the beauty of the earth and how it is so naturally, visually stunning. And I'm so grateful to live in a place that has autumn. The colors of the trees changing are just so beautiful and it makes my drive to yoga a lot more enjoyable because I'm just driving and appreciating the colors so much. And autumn really just makes everything better, except for the damn tire pressure monitoring light situation that starts to happen at this time of the year, which is the bane of my existence. I just got out of yoga. When I woke up today with very little motivation to do anything at all, yeah, like staying in bed all day watching Netflix is appealing but it's important to be physically present even when you don't physically feel like it so that you don't spiral. Coming to yin yoga is so important to me, especially on a day where I really don't feel like moving my body. But I needed to do something for my body, right? So I went to yin yoga and the class was so great. It was so aligned with everything that I'm going through and, and everything the teacher spoke about was, it was just so perfect. After the class was over, I was sitting down just taking a little bit of notes that came through when I was in the meditation. A woman who I've never seen before, I've never spoken to before, she came up to me and told me how impressive it was, my connection to my body. Um, and on a day where I'm, like, I'm struggling with my connection to my body, that was something I like, really needed to hear. If I didn't go get out and go out, I wouldn't have received that message. I wouldn't be here talking about it right now. It, it is so important to do things that we don't necessarily want to do, especially when we don't feel like doing them, because that's when we need them the most. <laughs> I didn't want to come today. My body doesn't want to do much today, but I came. And if I didn't come, I wouldn't have gotten that beautiful message from a complete stranger. And... I wouldn't have had the perspective shift that it gave me. It gave me such a beautiful perspective shift. On a day where I am struggling with my body and my body is like not 100% here, my presence with my body was still something that this woman witnessed and felt uh, that she wanted to compliment me on. It's important to give ourselves credit and it's important to take credit as well. The other thing about it is also like if I didn't come today, because I didn't want to, I wouldn't have gotten that perspective shift from that woman. I wouldn't have encountered her, I wouldn't have gotten the messages that I got to write down. I wouldn't be here reiterating this right now. Choosing to do something for your physical body when your physical body doesn't feel like doing things sets a chain reaction in motion that you cannot set in any other way. Like you have to, it, it supports your mental health, it supports your physical health, it supports your emotional health, it supports your spiritual health, it supports everything. And when you're being supported mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, it like it just, it's like the gift that keeps on giving. You don't wanna like stop momentum by not giving your body movement. That's really, it's really just as simple as that. Would I have much rather stay in bed all day sure am i going to get everything that i just got from that yoga practice 
laying in bed doing nothing all day? No way. No way. Not possible. Impossible. After I got home from yoga, I had some lunch and then I folded and put away my laundry to actually be successful in the doing laundry chore. You can't just wash it and let it sit. You actually have to fold it and put it away. And then I did some organizing in my closet. I changed out some sandals for boots and I rearranged my vanity and beauty products a bit. I put away some jewelry and I just overall made the space a lot more organized. I'm going to do a proper tour of my vanity and my cloffice, which is my room that is a dedicated closet slash office in the coming weeks. So don't forget to subscribe for that tour. After I cleaned up a bit and put my laundry away, I noticed that the sun had come out. So I had to take advantage of that and I went outside for a walk and Gia was very happy with my decision as well. The colors of the trees and the sunlight reflecting on them and the blue of the sky was all just so beautiful and the same way as my drive to yoga earlier, I really just appreciated the beauty of it all. Since my vanity was all nice and clean and organized, I decided to get ready for some dessert with my mom and my aunts. Curling my hair and putting on makeup to go meet two of my aunts and my mom for a piece of cake at a local bakery really wasn't necessary, but as I mentioned earlier, it's really important to still take care of ourselves and do things that lets our brain know that we're good, even if we're not feeling physically motivated. Taking the 20 minutes to put a little makeup on and curl my hair made me feel really good about myself, and in all honesty, that was rewarding enough. And just as a side note, I know everyone swears by really expensive curling irons, but I'm going to link this Conair in the description of this video. It is less than $30 and I have had it for like six or seven years. It is literally amazing. And especially if you're someone like me who has really fine hair that doesn't hold a curl, this is the best because for some reason it holds the curl. When I am in the States, I live on Long Island and going anywhere at 6 p.m. on Long Island is just asking for a sea of red lights. Driving manual shift on Long Island is not for the faint of heart. But on a positive note, there is something about the red lights of the car in front of me that's just a really nice selfie opportunity. And I was really happy to see that they still had pumpkins at the bakery and that they hadn't pushed Christmas on us yet. I love Christmas, but not until after Thanksgiving. Choosing which dessert to have was one of the hardest decisions I've made in a while. I mentioned earlier, I'm about to get my period, so obviously I went with a really rich chocolate cake and I was waiting in line to pay, staring at the Madelines, wondering if the raspberry or the Nutella one was better. And one of the employees said, the Madelines just came out of the oven and the raspberry is to die for. So obviously I opted to also have a Madeline and I have no regrets whatsoever. They were both amazing. I literally love my bedroom so much like my bedroom is such a sanctuary and I love that so much for me um it's so cozy in here I honestly totally forgot to record like my my evening routine my night basically just ended the same way that my morning started like very slowly very mindfully, very meditative. I did a little stretching. As equally slow tonight as I was this morning. And I'm going to get ready to read a little bit. I'm reading the Iliad. The intro to the Iliad is like 70 pages. So I'm like 40 pages into the intro. And honestly, it just keeps knocking me out. I read like four pages of it and I fall asleep. I'm trying to read this book for like a month and a half. And I'm, I'm like halfway through the intro. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just...
rest is so important and go do the damn thing my name is jackie and i share a little bit of everything to help people live better lives mentally physically spiritually emotionally aesthetically i'm all about the aesthetics i make new videos every week so don't forget to click subscribe and i will see you next week